So these are the items that I carry in my emergency car kit. Now, these are only suggestions. These are only items that I feel would be useful for me to have in case of an emergency. However, I definitely would suggest that you pick and choose whatever it is that you feel you would need for yourself. Now, for emergency purposes, I kept this old pair of gloves and this old beanie. They're still useful even though they're kind of ugly, but they will keep me warm in a um, situation where I have to spend the night in my vehicle or something. I also keep a change of clothes here uh, just because as females, you know, we like to look cute. We like to sometimes dress up and, you know, wear our heels and wear our nice dresses, skirts, but those are definitely not going to be comfortable in an emergency. You want to be comfortable. So I did keep a, sh a shirt a pair of jeans that I love and are really comfortable for me. And also I kept a waterproof um, layer, which is this jacket. And I love it because it has so many pockets. Now this um, is going to actually hold a lot of the items that I'm um, telling you about right now. A lot of um, my EDC items go in these pockets, so they're not necessarily in the kit themselves, but they are in the jacket, so they are part of the kit altogether. Now, the other thing I have are these. They're pretty ugly. I'm just going to say that right now. I know you girls are going to be like, ew, what the fuck is that? Um, <laughs> no, these are actually my Timberlands. I got them for hiking and um, I really do actually like them. The reason I like them is because they are super comfortable for one, they are waterproof and also they are a little bit um, wider in the feet. Now, I don't know about you guys, my feet are kind of short but they're kind of wide a little bit um, and so I wanted to make sure I was comfortable. So I did have um, these pair of boots in there, they're waterproof like I mentioned and I also keep one pair of um, wool socks in there that I um, just shove in there <laughs> to have just in case I'm not wearing appropriate shoes. Now they might not be pretty but these shoes are going to get me through. Now these are great for hiking, for camping, for you know just everything. So they're super comfortable. I actually um, wore them a few times just to try to break them in and I realized I didn't even really have to break these in. Like these were so comfortable from the first day that I wore them. Um, and maybe it's because these are, you know, the straps and um, are adjustable here, but I really like these. And even though they're fugly, <laughs> I um, like the fact that um, I have something that I know will last. The next item that I have is this emergency survival blanket, which also goes in one of the pockets of this jacket, part of my EDC that I will have on me. So I definitely am glad I have that. And this emergency Vivi, um, I actually have from <laughs> an extra that came from when I bought my family. They're um, Vivi's. And I kept it in my emergency kit because you never know when you, you know, need to stay warm. Definitely if you're camping out overnight in the car, you want to stay warm, which is also why I have this jungle blanket. Now, everything that you see here is laying on the blanket itself, but I did want to show you that I did have a blanket in the car just in case, like I said, I had to spend the night in there for some reason and I want to stay warm. And this compass was part of my uh, bug out bag. However, it was really heavy, I noticed. And I replaced it with a smaller um, compass. So I thought this would be a great one to just throw in my car um, because I don't have to carry it. <laughs> but it's very efficient. Um, so I did want to have it on hand. So I put it in my car kit and that way I don't have to harry, carry this big ass heavy compass around. Um, I replaced it and put it here. Now as you can see here, I carry California, Oregon, Washington, Nevada, Arizona. So pretty much every state that surrounds California, just in case I don't know which way I have to go. <laughs> um, I have a map for the direction that I may be headed um, in whichever direction that is. 
The other thing I have here, of course, is the SAS Survival Guide. Now that is a big book. <laughs> it's a pretty large, this is a large edition, just the regular standard, not the pocket edition like I have in my bags, which I like because it's better to read and because it's bigger it's heavier and i don't necessarily want to carry this around with me every day so i keep it in the car just in case i'm ever somewhere where i may have time to read i could always you know look at this and have something for reference in case of an emergency as well now this you might recognize and it's all covered in <laughs> dog hair excuse me if you're a dog owner you know what's up um there's hair everywhere but um now this is my 511 medical pouch which i have a video for if you want to check that out but i did a lot of updates to my bug out bag if you didn't see in my last video but this was in that bug out bag and since I did replace my bug out bags um, medical pouch, which I will show you later, I put this one in my car kit. And it has pretty much everything that I showed you in a medical pouch video. Um, so you can check that out if you want to. But it's a very important to have a first aid kit of some sort. Um, mine is very detailed. Your, yours can be as basic as you want. For cooking, I do have this alcohol stove here with a flame regulator. And I also have some denatured alcohol in this little flask here. Now, I did show that to you in my bug out bag video. However, I realized that would be a good idea to just have one in the car and not necessarily have to carry it on me as well. If need be, I can always take this with me. Now, this was one of the items I used to have in my bug out bag as well, but it's kind of big and bulky as you can see. It was my old cooking system, which is just like a pocket stove. And I know I have this one, but... um. I think it's good to have a backup and I if you want to you know do t and cook two things at once or maybe you want to you know boil some water and then also cook at the same time um, so I like to have a little bit of options and as well as I have a spork here um, a small fire kit and soap and more soap <laughs> and of course the tabs for the Espet stove. And clearly this is all gonna come in handy for when I cook and or have to sterilize and boil water, which I will also put into this stainless steel canteen. And I also have this Bako Laplander knife that I had from my bug out bag, but I replaced it and um, I felt that this would be good just to have a backup in the car kit. For communication, I also do have a Motorola T465 radio that all of my family has in each of their bug out bags. And I also have in my EDC, my bug out bag, and I have some in my Faraday cage, which I will show you later. And I also keep this hand crank solar radio. Now, I don't think this is a necessity just because if you're in your car, Duh, you already have radio. <laughs> However, um, it's I like to have backups of everything. So, you know, they say three is two and two is one and one is none. So basically, if you have two items, you always have a backup. And that is what this is for, as well as it's a solar charger. So it can charge my devices. So it also has a different purpose. And here I have a Write in the Rain notebook. And that is another item that I carry as part of my EDC. So I don't necessarily have to carry in the kit. I have it on me at all times. Along with this pen. This pen is pretty cool. I like it because not just is it a pen. This has a little flashlight which is really handy and I love. And it also has this little pointer here, which can be used to either break windows um, if you're stuck in a car or something, as well as um, you can hit somebody with it. <laughs> if need be, you could shove this in somebody's temple and that fuck them up for a minute. But um, <laughs> I definitely like having it around because it not just is a pen, but it's a flashlight. It's 
you know, a stun device, a window breaker, and let me show you what else it has in here. So when you remove this, you actually can screw this off. Hopefully I'm doing it the wrong way. And so you can actually screw this right off. And as you can see, it also has a um, can opener, a small bladed um, corner, which you can use for like cutting boxes or just cutting whatever. And um, here you can use a as a flathead screwdriver. So you have a can opener. You also have like a little, um, what is it called? One of those little, one of these. <laughs> I don't even know what they're called, but it just has a very small one um, right here that you can use, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know what it's called. I actually like that it is all in one. Now this is also part of my EDC and it's a backup pen ink filler <laughs> replacement here for the flashlight and pen and this is some replacement batteries for the flashlight itself as well and this came in um, another kit but I threw it in here as part of my EDC and this is of course a hand wire saw and like I said this just goes right into my pocket of the jacket um, very light very easy to carry but I know I have replacements for my tools now the other part of my EDC, of course, is this paracord bracelet, which I have um, in my jacket as well, but will be on my person whenever I need it. And this um, also is part of my EDC in my jacket. Of course, a whistle for signaling. And this is just a, a very baby small um, emergency flashlight uh, and... A laser for like signaling or something <laughs> I got it at the dollar store I'm like the flashlight I thought was pretty nifty and for a dollar and to have you know just you know on it uh, as a backup is not bad the other part of my EDC is this multi tool um, it's the Stanley multi tool it's not very it's not very expensive I think it was like 11 12 bucks um, but you have pretty much everything that you might need, you know, from can openers to screwdrivers to, um, blades to saw. So it has all of the nifty tools on it and it wasn't very expensive. So I like that I can just, um, throw this in there and it's not a big deal if it gets damaged in the car or whatever, but it's actually really sturdy. Now this, of course, I don't keep on my person. I do have it as an extra in my car kit, and that is just um, my pistol cleaner and some wipes, some Q-tips, and of course the rod and lubrication oil. And I forgot to put out the little bottle of cleaner, but um, it is here somewhere. <laughs> um, I do carry that in the car uh, just as a backup because I actually don't see many people in their kits with these. Um, but they expect their guns to work. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, you have to keep them clean in order for them to keep functioning correctly. So I did want to have this. It's a very cheap inexpensive kit I got from Amazon. I'll put links to all of these things in the description, but um, I did want to make sure I had this on hand. And of course, I do keep some um, boxes of ammo as a spare boxes. I do keep this toolbox in my car kit, of course. This was like what? $69 it was on sale online I saw this at my job and I thought it was a great little kit so I got one I was lucky and I got it at discount so I'm very happy about that and it just has all of the basic tools that you might need um, I know how to use most of these <laughs> now a lot of us aren't very handy and a lot of us <laughs> don't have any mechanical knowledge <laughs> however um, I do think that it's important to carry a basic tool set because if it honestly like 
it's not that hard to figure out how to use them. You can YouTube it now if you want to while you still have time. Like you can learn anything off of YouTube. So it's not very extensive, not very detailed, but it does have the basics. So I do have it just in case. The tape measure that was in this toolbox actually broke. <laughs> I'm like, my bad, um, <laughs> it broke. Um, but I do have this one as an extra and it actually <laughs> sat right in here. So I just shoved my mechanics gloves in it so I can have somebody somewhere to put them in there not just floating around somewhere. For tools, I also have these two set of pliers here. I don't believe you necessarily have to have them because there is one set here, but this is just part of the tools that I have and they're just in the toolbox all together. So I just left them in there. And over here, another thing that you do not have to have, is just the basic screwdriver, screws, you know, nail, all of those things. Um, you never know where you can use them. And these are actually like hose clamps for like hoses on your car, on your vehicle. And I actually bought them because I'm gonna be living the van life. <laughs> and I wanna make sure that I have them on hand in case a, a hose breaks. Um, so you don't have to have this in there, but it'd be good in case, um, you know, one of the hoses breaks in your vehicle or whatever, whatever you might need it for. It's a good clamp. I also have this very basic small toolkit, which has a little bit more um, different sizes for like screwdrivers, flatheads, and you know, all the, the star, I don't know, hexagon, whatever the fuck you call them, <laughs> um, kind of tool screwdrivers that you uh, have, and um, it's just a, a good little backup there, but um, it's a small little kit, so I left it in there along with this four-way silk cock key, which I don't want to carry on my person, but if I've run across a building that has an outside faucet with a lock, I can always get water that way, and I don't have to have it on me, but I have the tool, so good to have. I also have like a shitload of zip ties here. Um, actually, I'm gonna put half of these in my house and half of these here. Um, I just threw them down because that's what I had. <laughs> Now this is definitely not part of an emergency kit, but it is part of my vehicle's emergency backup communication system. Now this is the hum from Verizon. Now this has a direct line to emergency assistance um, called like the nearest 911 if you are in an emergency and you need immediate assistance. Like it's an actual phone. It's an actual little speaker phone. It has a mic or you can call for assistance for the Verizon um, like assistant. It's like an OnStar type of device. So you can call for assistance, for emergency assistance. So it's very useful just to have. I don't think this is something you necessarily need, but this is something that I do have. I pay $10 a month for the line, and I just think it's a good backup because if I get in it, in a car accident and I'm like stuck in the car for whatever reason and I need some emergency help, I can go ahead and push the button and they know where I'm at. It has like a signal, a tracker. So I think this is a pretty nifty device. And of course it comes with its own little charger. It's rechargeable. And this is also part of the hum, which is literally just a very small diagnostic thingy. <laughs> So I know when we go to like the mechanic and you know your check engine light is on and they, they hook it up to a little machine and it's a coder and it tells you a code of what is wrong with your engine or what's going on. So this is what that is. Now this plugs into where you would plug the reader into and this basically reads the status of everything from your tire pressure to your oil to... um if, if you have an emergency check light on, it tells you the code of what's wrong. So I think this is fucking so worth it. It's $10 a month for the line and for this to function for you. So I think that was more than worth it because if something's wrong with my car, which all of, which those of you who know me know that I have had a lot of car trouble, I think this is a good investment for me. Another item I want to highlight is this 
what is it, e scene? <laughs> I think that's how you uh, say it. Um, flashlight, this is a solar flashlight, which I love. You guys know I love solar things because <laughs> I don't have to buy batteries for them. I don't have to, um, you know, worry about how I'm gonna recharge them. You can put it right in the sun, baby. Now, I love this flashlight. I'm just gonna tell you guys that. This is very handy, especially for your vehicle, um, because it not just does it have a seatbelt cutter, but it also has a way to break your window if you're ever stuck in there. And I really like the fact that it is rechargeable. You just put it on your dash, you can recharge it, and it has a compass. The compass literally screws right off like this, so you could use it as a compass by itself and you can just you know have it on your hand on your person I also have like a little clip on it you can just clip it onto your um, your hip or whatever so here you can actually um, input a charge through a micro USB so you can literally just plug it into the wall plug it into the cigarette lighter with the you know with your phone charger and you can recharge the battery that way as well and I love 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 that it has an out outlet for the USB so you can charge your own phone from it you can charge your other devices um, as long as you have the, the USB cord you can put it in the Sun mm -hmm and charge your own devices. So this thing is super handy. I freaking love this flashlight. I'm actually gonna invest and buy another one. They're only 20 bucks and for everything you get, I think this is more than worth it. You have the seatbelt cutter, you have the, um, the window breaker, you have all of the different functions for your flashlight in strobe mode. You have a lantern for just regular, you know, use. And you have an emergency strobe, which I mean, how much more could you ask? In one device, and not just that, but it gives you a compass and you can charge your own stuff with it and it's rechargeable, like, winning <laughs> this is one of the best investments i think i've made into my car emergency kit and you should definitely ha get one of these i will put the link down um in the description below because this is a must-have another thing i have here is the sewing kit that i used to have in my bug out bag it was really big so i condensed it down and I put this into my car kit because you could use it. It's nice to have, but don't necessarily want to carry it on you at all times. I also carry a roll of duct tape because duct tape can pretty much be useful for anything. And I also carry some electrical tape as well as a Sharpie marker with some extra tape wrapped around it and i also do have some gorilla glue now this is just like super glue but it's really really strong um i've used it multiple times and i have like one in my house i have one in the car and i use it, even put one in my bug out kit because i think this is a really good glue to have and you never know when you're going to need some crazy glue another thing i have here it is some black construction grade garbage bags so they're really strong durable they're useful for many things another thing I do have in the car kit is this big ass roll of fishing line <laughs> um, as you guys saw in my first bug out bag video I had this whole thing trying to put it in my bag and yeah that's not gonna work so I actually replaced this out of my bug out bag because <laughs> it was hella big. So um, I put it in the car kit because I still want to have it on me. And this is also good to have like just for camping if you're out somewhere and you know you're fishing with somebody. You got some line. Now these you saw in my first bug out bag video. And I... <laughs> And I had it um, as a part of my emergency kit, which is good to have, I'm not gonna lie, but this is really heavy to have in a bag. <laughs> so I put both of them in my um, 
car kit because I do want to have them in case of an emergency, but I'm not going to carry them in my backpack. And I just replaced it with like some basic fishing line and a small fishing kit, um, some fishing hooks, and that's about it. Um, so this is going to come in handy for if we're out in the vehicle or even when you're camping, you just want to bust it out. Now, a lot of these things, guys, are useful in an emergency. Yes, but these things are day-to-day -day things. These things you can use on a day-to-day -day basis. Duct tape, glue, all of these things can be used on a day-to-day -day basis for whatever reason. Say you're camping, you need to start a fire. There's a lighter. <laughs> say you're, you know, say you're uh, stuck in your car, you need to wa boil some water. There's some, you know, there's a stove. <laughs> and if you're in an emergency, you're at the park and you fall, you have a first aid kit. Like, you know, this is really basic like people think that prepping and preppers are like all these people they're crazy and they're like oh the world's coming to an end and like worried about the apocalypse and that shit's never gonna happen but honestly emergencies happen on a day-to-day -day basis so if you get a flat or if for some reason you know you get stuck somewhere you have these things for whatever the circumstance may be. It's not just about prepping for emergencies. It's about prepping for day-to-day -day life. It doesn't have to be so doomsday type of preparedness. It can be very, you know, basic day-to-day -day preparedness. And it's not such a bad idea to have these things on hand. The next tool that I have in my vehicle, and like I said, this is only because it's super big, um, is this dead-on, I honestly don't even know what the name of it is, <laughs> but this shit is legit. So, of course, it has a hammer, a pry bar, and down here, and down here I actually taped it up because it's so sharp, <laughs> and of course here it has um, another, like, what was that thing called? I don't know. The hexagon? <laughs> that thing. It has another thing right here um, that you can use as well as some, um, like, you know, nail prior. Like, you have a bunch of stuff that you can use off of this tool. And like I said, it is part of my um, house tools, but being that I am about to be living the van life, um, this is gonna go in my car like this is gonna go to my van so it made his its way into my car kit now and here we have another pry bar um this is just super nifty to have uh and it's a lot lighter so i like this a lot better this is what i originally had in there um but that one made its way in there um so it's always good to have a backup for stuff I also have some paracord on this paracord spool um, that was an extra that I had. I also have some in my bug out bags. And here we have the Wetterlings Hunter's Axe. Now this is freaking cool. Now let's say you know you need to cut some firewood. You have this available. Let's say a tree fell in front of your car or is in the roadway and you can't move past it until you move that branch. So you may have to cut that branch <laughs> and or many other uses for this. So I definitely think it's good to have a way of processing wood um, or at least, you know, chopping down something that is larger in size um, that you may not be able to use a saw or anything else for. And last of the tools, but certainly I feel the most important to have some sort of um, bolt cutters, now these are super cool. I freaking love them because they fold down into this small shape. But these are also super easy to like get into place. Haha. -ha. 
And among your tools, you should definitely have a good set of jumper cables. And this one, I think, comes with a pair of gloves. They're brand new. I just bought them. I didn't have a car for like a year and a half, you guys. So I recently had to put all of this stuff together. Um, and like I said, I literally just went through my bug out bags and my emergency kits and just grab things that I felt I would need in an emergency if I was in a vehicle. And this is what I came out with. I feel like a lot of the stuff we already have, but these are definitely gonna be useful now that I'm getting my van. And of course I have this funnel and it just came from the dollar store. It was literally just a dollar, can't go wrong with that. And it's a nice big funnel. This, of course, is just a dust mask. So whether it's a fire or any other reason why you might need a dust mask, um, this definitely will come in handy. So I keep one in the car. And here we have my handy dandy siphoner. <laughs> yes, it is a siphon hose to um, siphon gasoline or water. <laughs> I actually have two of them. I have one of them for gas, one of them for water for my water barrels, but these are super nifty. It comes with the whole kit and it even comes with instructions. Um, but this is pretty cool. Like I said, I have one for, for my water barrels, but I kept one in the car for siphoning gas in case of an emergency or if the electrical pumps aren't working um, and <laughs> I mean let's just be real if you got to siphon somebody's gas you know some some car that's been just sitting there and abandoned and you got to siphon some gas to get somewhere this is going to come in handy and I mean like I said, this is a SHTF situation, so I don't, I'm not condoning randomly just walking around and stealing people's gas, <laughs> but this is um, definitely going to come in handy if you're trying to get somewhere, you're in an emergency, and you came across like some abandoned vehicle to get some gas out of it. I definitely do that then. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Another emergency tool to have, of course, is some um, road flares and a visibility vest. I have this in my um, earthquake emergency bug out bag, but I've removed it and I put it here um, because like I said, I do want to have it on hand um, just in case I need it. And there is three flares here. I have two of these actually, um, but I'm only showing you one just because <laughs> There's a lot of shit here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I have three more flares, um, and I just have the vest, and I do also have this headlamp, um, because I do want to have access to it, um, if I'm ever out and about and need it, and I think people underestimate the need of having light. Now, we are so used to, you know, things turning on. We're so used to lights coming on, but sometimes that might not be possible. Or if you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere, you know, you, you really don't realize how dark these areas can be. Um, and you definitely want to have a good amount of light. So as you saw, I have a minimum of three um, ways of creating light for myself in my kit. This is just a very small LED flashlight I got at the dollar store. So like I said, your kit doesn't have to be expensive, guys. So you can literally just, you know, go through the stuff that you already have and put throw something together. Like I said, you don't need all of this, but you may need some of this. So look at what you may be able to use and put your kit together based on that. And last but not least, on this blanket, even though it's not the last item I'm going to show you. Now, the reason I have a fire extinguisher. <laughs> now, people are going to be like, why do you have a fire extinguisher in your car? Like, seriously, people, <laughs> you are driving a machine that operates by creating a small spark and a small combustion within a closed motor filled with gas and oil. <laughs> Just think about that for a minute. That's if that doesn't scream fire hazard, I don't know what scream fire hazard to you. But 
this is always good to have in your car for whatever reason. If you get in an accident and, you know, there's a fire or whatever it may be, this is a lifesaver. And the other things that I carry that I didn't fit on the blanket was my water bricks. So I have two of these water bricks in my uh, trunk. However, I only carried one up because if you watched my last video, you know I injured my knee. So I'm not carrying that all that shit up and down the stairs. <laughs> So I do have two of these. Each of these holds three gallons of water. So I have enough for seven days. And I am pretty happy with that. Um, these are refillable and reusable. So pretty sturdy. Um, so I keep two of these in the trunk. And here, I mean, it's kind of dusty. <laughs> It says a 72-hour emergency kit. It technically really isn't a 72-hour kit. It's more like a week kit. Hold on. I'm going to show you what's in here. All right. So keep in mind that right now I am transitioning into van life. So I actually started um, taking some items out of here that I don't necessarily need to keep as a car kit item um, because my van is going to be my whole home so <laughs> I'm going to have everything in the van and this is actually just going to act as my um, food storage um, and, and items that I feel that I'll need um, but don't necessarily um, want to keep it together with all that stuff <laughs> um, so of course I got some fruit here. Um, these are literally from the dollar store, I swear, but they're so good. I tried them and I like these, um, these and of course they're both, um, strawberry, but I like these too. Now these are also good, but honestly the banana I didn't really care for. And the apples um, slices, I tried, they're good. Um, and I mostly put them because I wanna put them in these instant hot cereal that's already apples with cinnamon. But you know, this is really just flavor. <laughs> but you can have a little bit of apples in there with it. Um, so I do have that as well as some peaches. And so that is mostly for fruit and that's all freeze dried and it comes from the dollar store. It is going to last a long time. Um, even though the expiration on it says, I think it's like three year, three or four years. Um, but it's in my lar bag and it's freeze dried. So it'll pretty much last forever. Um, and here, of course, like I just said, we have some instant hot cereal and there is three servings in there. And I put a little bit of creamer here into this Mylar bag. Um, I made these little Mylar pouches. <laughs> um, so I put these in there um, so I could have that and not necessarily store a whole thing of it as well as some mashed potatoes. And these are simply <laughs> very easy to make. They fill you up. They, you know, they're just, this is calories in guys. Like you want to have something that's gonna fill you and that's easy to make. And that is definitely this. I also have a different flavor. And I got these also at the dollar store. And I got some nuts here also to put like in the oatmeal or whatever. Um, so this I think will be good. And I also have some Vietnamese coffee that I got from my friend. <laughs> and a whole bunch of condiments and salt. This I actually am going to transfer into a mar Mylar um, um, pouch. I'm going to put it, um, I'm going to have to seal it myself. But I'm going to put it in there because I don't want to just leave it in the bag anymore now that I have new mylar bags and this is just tissue and I put it in here so that you know if things get wet for some reason hopefully they'll withstand it and my dogs are barking outside they're arguing with the neighbor <laughs> hold on all right back to this <laughs> i actually realized i actually literally just got these today um so these are gonna also go in here that's chicken and broccoli rice and alfredo so uh sides pasta sides we literally just gotta add water 
if you have butter too but if you don't have it it's fine this is of course some green tea and i have a mini <laughs> ifac <laughs> individual first aid kit and um this is literally i think it has a couple of motrin in there and just like some basic you know gauze first you know band-aid stuff and i got some kleenex wipes here and also over here for cleaning i have um these coin tissues so these expand to like a big towelette um i just have them in here uh have two of them there's like what six in each of these and like i said i made my for my own individualized um coffee packs now there's coffee in here i actually made these little pouches it has two servings of coffee for how i like my coffee in here it has not just the coffee but i put the sugar um serving and also i like a little bit of like a dash of cinnamon in my coffee so i also blended that in here the good thing about it is most of those items don't really expire i mean honestly coffee guys it does go bad but you're not gonna give a shit <laughs> if it's expired or not when um you really need a cup of coffee and there's nothing else so which is why i didn't think it was a big deal to combine them into these little packs and they're already ready to go you literally only need hot water and like i said this is two servings and i have a few of those so this is also just cinnamon tea um which we're hella mexican so we drink that <laughs> um and here i have another pouch of coffee and this is another two servings here i have a deodorant i actually do have deodorant in here because like i said um, this is more of like a two-week car kit, so I do want to have some like good deodorant. And I also have like this drawstring backpack that my job gave me, so in case I need to throw some of it and, you know, throw some of this stuff in it and take off with it, I can. This is, if you watch my last bug out bag update video, this is a bidet adapter for any water bottle that you really find on the street. To wash your buttocks and here now um like i said i am preparing to live the van life and this is more to have um in the car for longer term food storage and i will have a way to cook these um if i'm in the van if i'm in the car which is why this is in here um but these last a really long time beans and rice will last forever as long as they're in a mylar bag and you know they're away from sunlight or you get the great the um the grade of mylar bags that does keep sun out where you don't need a container but i definitely did want to keep some extra rice and beans in here because hello protein carbs you know like you have a full meal right here you know i know people are like oh where's the meat i mean i'm just saying if you're mexican or if you've been to you know like other countries you know that meat is really expensive so people you know this is food people think oh rice and beans is not food girl get on it <laughs> i'm telling you you need to just put some of these things away because they last forever and you know you're gonna have two of the things you need in your body um all in that one pack and here is just my GSI spice missile. I had it in my bag before, but it was kind of heavy, didn't need all of this, so I just put it in my car kit. And now I have like some extra salt, pepper, whatever it may need. And here I have some more oatmeal. Like I said, I wanted to put like all of that fruit stuff in it. And I do have a couple of um one ounce container of honey in here. They're separate little bottles that I, I made myself. Um, but I filled it with, you know, organic honey, super good, um, with the, with the oatmeal and, you know, even with the rice guys, like, you know, 
you gotta just work with what you have and this is a great way honey really never expires like you know dude look it up honey does not expire it might get a little bit you know crystally and um hard but you can definitely you know stick it in some warm water and it'll melt right back down um so it lasts forever so this was good to have and here i also do have a couple of fuel tabs these i think last an hour each i want to say um but that's just like for cooking in case I don't have um, access to a way to cook. Those are just like extra fuel. I have a garbage bag in here. Um, actually, I think there's two um, in here because you never know when you're going to need trash bags, guys, or for whatever. I have this pill container here, which in here I have some cannabis. <laughs> um, now, this is good for multiple things not just as a medicinal plant but also as a good barter item um very small very you know easy to carry around and it's waterproof in this little containers now under here <laughs> i also have another item um for morale boosting or for trading and or for self-use um <laughs> it is um just four ounces this is only a four ounce flask and in here I have some Jameson cause that's my shit. So as you can see, this looks like a shitload of stuff and I don't think you'd believe me if I told you that this all fits into two containers. But as I mentioned, you definitely don't need to have everything that I have. And I know it's a lot. It looks like a lot too, spread out, but you wouldn't believe me if I told you that, like I said, all of this food came out of this little container. And of course, the kit itself, all of this, except for the shoes, fit in um, to one storage bin. As I mentioned, I'm preparing for van life, so my kit may look different than yours. However, um, I do feel that a lot of these items should be in your um, car regardless, not just for an emergency, but like I said, for every day life all right guys thanks for tuning in and hopefully um you like this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up so i know that you like prepping videos some of you requested more prepping videos so i hope that you are glad that i'm doing them again <laughs> but um i will definitely post some more up if you guys let me know what type of videos you guys want to see all right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and make sure that you subscribe so you can see the next video. All right, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you later.